In the nearly one year since a gunman opened fire inside a Parkland High School in South Florida, killing 17 people, officials say they're seeing an increase in copycat school threats. And this morning, a security sweep is happening at the La Villa School for the Arts here in Jacksonville in response to a threat to blow up that school. And also in St. John's County, there's a 13-year-old student facing felony charges after deputies say he threatened to shoot up Switzerland Point Middle School. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding covering the story, joining us live this morning. And Ashley, police and school districts take these threats very seriously. And kids need to know that they're facing real consequences if they make a call and a threat. Yes, Melanie and Bruce, good morning. It really could impact the futures of these children. Now, with this student here at Switzerland Point Middle School, the principal actually told us that the threats were not valid, but that student is still facing serious consequences. In the months since the tragedy at Stoneman Douglas High School, lawmakers have changed the way districts and law enforcement handle school threats in Florida. And despite the changes, they still happen. The latest incidents occurred at La Villa School of the Arts in Jacksonville and Switzerland Point Middle School in St. John's County. Deputies say the student at Switzerland made the threat in a group text message. Now, Florida law makes it a second degree felony for any person to make, post or send a threat in writing or any other record. Something to think about. A felony conviction of the second degree carries maximums of a $10,000 fine, 15 years in prison, and the loss of many other rights because of a felony conviction. Many school districts have school safety policies in place, and this month Duval County leaders passed a new threat assessment policy, which included a team of those with knowledge in counseling, law enforcement, school administration, and instruction. The team will ID students whose behavior may pose a threat to themselves or others. Others. They can also obtain criminal history of any student posing a threat. And what you're looking at live right here, this is the Fortify Florida app. You can actually download this through the Apple App Store or through Google Play. This is a new way for parents and students to report potential threats. Again, it's called Fortify Florida. You can download that through the Apple App Store or, or Google Play. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.